Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be opening up the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of June. This is $25 a month and it is the second of the three subscriptions. You have the first, which is a $12 bag that I unbox or unbag on this channel. You have the second bag, which is the Glam Bag Plus, which is 25. And then you have the ultimate, which is 50. I do not get the ultimate. Like I said before, it just doesn't really speak to me. Also, if you hear any noises, um, my cats are literally at this door like zombies trying to get in. Their little paws are underneath. They're just, they're just scratching. So anyway, let's get into this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is my second one that I've ever gotten. So when you open it up, it does say discover yourself with the orange foam right here. There's a little sneak peek in to the box. This month is Make Waves. And uh, yeah, so the inside just doesn't have any um, product information. It has tips on how to maximize your SPF in case you're interested on maximizing your SPF. So there's that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this, and this is from Purely's. It's the Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. Really pretty packaging. I love the little watermelons all over it. Super cute. And I did look at my app before opening this up, so I know the prices. So I know that this is valued at $24. Here it is outside of the box. And it says, Beauty Through Asian Wisdom. The benefits are watermelon, which moisturizes the skin. Aloe vera helps reduce inflammation. White tea protects skin from cellular damage. Um, and cucumber helps smooth and firm the skin. And it just says to use this with your cleanser and then gently apply smooth over face morning and night. Great for everyday use. Let's see if it smells like watermelon. It does have the little safety seal guy on there. So. Okay, let's see. So it is like a lightweight kind of gel cream consistency. Ooh, it does, it smells like watermelon, you guys. Oh, I like that. Okay, that feels really nice. It almost has like a slip to it. Um, it's hard to explain. Does this have like a bunch of dimethicones in it or something? I don't know, it feels like I think so, yeah. It feels almost like silicone-y and dimethicone which is fine. I have a Dr. Brent recovery sleeping mask that has that, but I'm excited to give this a go. It feels really, really nice, and now that it's dried down and absorbed, it, yeah, definitely like that. And here's this month's bag, by the way. Um, so it's very similar to the one that I unbagged for my regular glam bag. It's just a little bit bigger. Is it bigger? I can't really tell, but it is green. And there's the little Ipsy pull tab right there. I do really like all the different women of different skin tones um, and colors and the different hair tones and colors laying on their little beach towel. And then inside is yellow with the little Ipsy logo right there. So super cute. I do like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm pulling out, I'm really kind of confused and curious. Um, let me know down below what you think. But this is from Gigi Gorgeous. This is the only blush duo in Authentic and Pride. Now, I could have sworn this was going around back in, I want to say October's bag, whichever bag it was that had the leopard print. Um, okay, so that must have been November because October was Betty Boob. But we received this, like the whole month was a collab with Gigi Gorgeous who is a um, YouTube personality. She's absolutely gorgeous, as her name states, but I'm having to totally destroy this box in order to open it. But yeah, I remember um, that collection launching then, so I'm not really sure why we're getting it again, but here is the outside packaging, very sleek, matte kind of finish there with the gold writing, super pretty. And when you open it up, there is the two shades. So you have a duo here. So it looks like one side is going to be more of like your shimmer. And then the other side is more of a matte. So let's do some swatches because I do plan on using this. So there's the matte. And here's the shimmer. The matte side definitely feels smoother than the um, shimmer side. But 
Oh, let's try to build up that shimmer side because that is just looking a little sad there. I don't know. There it is. So there's the matte and then there's the shimmer. It is pretty. I probably will just kind of swirl my brush into it so that way I can get a little bit of luminosity from this glowy blush and then a little bit of the color from the more matte blush. But this is it's pretty and this retails for $24. I'm just kind of confused because I really thought that this was something that was like in that November months bag. So next up is this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. This I'm really excited about. So it says gives a natural looking backlit glow, revives dull complexions, and helps reduce the look of pores. Honey, I could definitely use all of the above. So here's the outside packaging, really, really pretty in blue and kind of like an ombre to silver. So this just kind of reminds me of the um, e.l.f. Putty Primer that I have. No, actually it's completely different, I take that back. It's definitely creamier and smoother. It feels more like a lotion. Let's see if we can see any difference. smells good. I don't know if you can see much of a difference between this wrist and this wrist, but this one definitely has more luminosity to it. It does seem really smooth, whereas this one does not. I did apply the Pure Elise um, moisturizer to this side, but this just feels really, really nice. Okay, so I'm actually really looking forward to this, and this comes in at $38. Dr. Brand is not a cheap brand. So yeah, okay love it all right next is an item that we always see in our ipsies and it is a black liner this is the ojos perfectos liquid eyeliner from aricelli um i'm not sure if i've gotten this one in particular before it definitely sounds familiar i'm almost positive i have so it has like a longer felt tip pin there i'm not going to swatch it because honestly i have so many liquid liners and i just don't want to mess this up when I could pass this along so I don't know anyway it's a black liquid liner and this comes in at $16 and last but not least is my choice item and this is the Ciate marbled metals metallic glitter eyeshadow Sounds like it's kind of rattling in there you hear that? I don't know and this is in the shade Entwine. This was my choice item. I do remember this now. So yeah, so the lid is very, very loose on here. So I don't know how I feel about that. And then there's like a little plastic stopper there, I guess, to keep it from drying out. Okay, this looks very messy. I don't wanna drop it or fall out it doesn't seem like it okay i have seen where someone's fell out in it it kind of cracked i'm sure you all watch tony nicole i love her so much she's so fun all right so there's the color let's do a little swatch but hers actually came very dried and crumbly and like fell out there's the color right there it's pretty i mean it's it's definitely pretty um I could even see myself using this like buffed out as a highlighter on my face. It's very, very reflective. I usually like the stuff that we get from Ciate London. I think that they have a really good brand and um, this is worth, or this comes in at $24. So I'm just gonna put a little stopper back on it so that it keeps it from falling out and getting all crusty and busted. Um, so anyway. All right, so that's it for this box. I did want to quickly show you, I got a confidence and a cleanser. I redeemed my points. I had a bunch of points that I needed to redeem. So I got a full size confidence and a cleanser. I love this stuff. So now I have a backup. Well, let's go over everything that we got in this month's box. So we have our marbled metals from Ciate London in the color Entwine, which is just absolutely gorgeous. We have our Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer, and I really do like the way that that feels. I think that that's gonna be really nice. I cannot wait to try that. 
we have the Pure Elise Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. And again, that felt really, really nice and refreshing, very cooling. I'm sure for summertime, it's gonna really be nice. It's gonna come in handy. So this I'm really excited about. And then we also have our Gigi Gorgeous, the Only Blush Duo, which, I, don't get me wrong, I do think it's pretty. I just, I know that this was something that has been passed around a few times. Um, so there's that. And then we have our little bag with our bathing beauties. So what all did you think? I thought it was pretty good. I'm actually, you know, it may not be the most exciting Glam Bag Plus that ever was, but I will definitely be using this. I definitely will be using this. Um, I'll be using this. I definitely will be using this. This was really like my only meh product out of the whole box was a liquid eyeliner and really rightfully so because we get a liquid liner in like every single box. So, I mean, this is the only one that I'm just not really crazy about. But other than that, I mean, four out of five products I think is pretty good. So this is all for $25. That's the thing you have to remember. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this channel. Comment down below what you thought. I love to chat with you guys down in the comments. And until next time, bye.